What's up guys and gals and welcome to BB Bots where I love talking all things NFTs, speculation, and of course the market. So uh, today we're going to be covering the stamp drop. BB just dropped the medium article, I mean less than 10 minutes ago as of the making of this video, so I'm excited to cover that. What, I, what I'm going to do, what I think is going to happen, uh, price predictions might be a little bit difficult, but I'll, I'll try my best if it gets to that point. Um, but before we do that, I will be covering the um, Milner post drop. It's already happened, obviously. It's been it's about 11 a.m. right now, so it's been about three hours after the drop, and it's performing pretty much as people expected. So we're gonna cover that as well. Look at it, it how many are left in the market or in the store, and then see how much they're going for in the market. So yeah, before we do that, again, thanks to Dog, Knowing, Hinanu, as well as Justin for the most recent donations. All right, so we'll go ahead and start off here. I just pulled up uh, a random one. I'm on the uh, the BV web app, obviously. <clears throat> And so far, it's it's about three hours after the drop right now, and so far only half have been sold. There was 1,000 Stormbreakers, I believe for the Ultra Rares, there was about 2,400-ish, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, and then at least for the Rares, there was definitely 3,800 or so. So, so far, it's three hours after the drop, and typically, it's not like three hours from now, there's going to be another, the other 50% are going to get sold. I actually had a feeling, and despite the lower mint numbers i did have a feeling this might take longer than a day especially since we do have the stamp drop tomorrow i think a lot of people are actually going to be going for that because it's super super cheap it's actually cheaper than a comic and those tend to retain their values much better than a than a random comic or some like low tier stuff right so as of right now i mean you could still buy these in the store if you really want to um as of right now last i checked so if we go to the market and we go ahead and take a quick look at the collectibles um, I mean, we can take a look at Stormbreaker. Actually, when last I was on the market, I actually saw a Stormbreaker 616 on the floor, not the floor, but close to it for like 220. This is when the floor was at like 190. Um, I tried to buy it, but it was already locked up. And if you guys don't know, 616 is actually the uh, kind of like the current Marvel Universe that everyone knows about. So the, the Iron Man in the movies, Hulk, Thor, Avengers, uh, Black Panther, Spider-Man, all that stuff that like the, the 616 universe is the is the one that they all live in the ones that we currently watch in the films uh that 616 is kind of our official universe same thing with like the comic books and stuff like that so that is a significant number on any marvel drop is 616 and so i did see it get relatively floored i tried to buy it but i didn't have it in time even though i was not very keen on chasing any of these in the secondary market but that was um on the floor so as of right now uh, the secret rare is at 165 i did say I've, I've had a feeling this would probably go for like 125 and i, I think i got close at one point but it's actually gone up quite a bit. And then if we go back, we'll take a look at just like the normal meal near Thor hammer. 20 gems. I think I said my price prediction for pretty much the rares were 15 to 20. The ultra rares would probably go for about 25 to 30. And then that was pretty much it. So we're not going to go through each and every one of these again. So this is 35 to 40 ish um, or so. So I'm pretty spot on with my price predictions. But again, price predictions, it, it can shift and change. The price could go up quite a bit or it can go down. I mean, there could literally be an announcement at some point tomorrow, which causes everything to crash. A lot of stuff can happen. So, um, yeah, just wanted to cover uh, the hammer drop. It seems like it's doing pretty much as expected. There's been plenty of memes on Twitter on how funny it is that they all look the same and all that stuff. So, yeah. Next thing we're going to cover is the stamp art. So, a lot of people like the stamp. Some people don't. Me, personally, I'm not a huge fan. I used to like the concept or the idea of it. Um, I think mostly because... I, I don't, don't think a lot of stamp collectors are going to be in like online looking for speculative investments like crypto and NFTs and that kind of stuff. I think I assume stamp collectors are typically a bit older. Uh, they might not care for things like, you know, NFTs and stuff like that. So that's why I'm a bit hesitant to like heavily invest in it. Plus, I think comics and Marvel and, and Disney are just infinitely more recognizable. Right. Uh, on top of that, this kind of says, I mean, we've seen it in all the drops that the USPS drop says stamp art. It doesn't say it's a stamp, it's stamp art. So is it actually a stamp? Is it officially recognized by USPS as a stamp that is usable, has utility, can be used multiple times, whatever it is? We're not sure, but as of right now, it says stamp art. So it's just, it's 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 an art of a stamp. That's all we know. And so just based on that verbiage, <clears throat> I think a lot of people are kind of hesitant that like, is USPS actually gonna fall through and make this actually a stamp who knows they, they could definitely change it they could just revert it and say okay it's actually a stamp it was stamp art before now it's an actual stamp so kind of rambling at this point <clears throat> 8 a.m saturday july 9th this is when this drop is going to happen six pieces of uh stamp art which this one's actually pretty cool i actually like the layout of this one they, they've, they've tried a few different ways of doing stamps in the past they've done blind box they've done 
one where it's just giant sheets, I believe with the, the Lunar uh, New Year kind of thing. But now they almost kind of combine all those aspects together. So I do like this. So this is obviously a big piece of like US history. Um, so we have obviously George Washington here. The box price on all these, because it's blind box, is six gems, 5,800 editions. I do think one nice thing about the stamps is that they're cheaper than the comics, obviously by one gem. And they also usually have about like a fourth of the amount of mints. Like a lot of the times when we get a comic, it's usually 30,000. 21,000 commons, but as you can see here, the mint numbers on this are pretty much a quarter less for the most part. So we have a common here. I think the believe this is a common as well. This is Benjamin Franklin I'm going for six gems. These are all first edition art. Um, another George Washington with two of them. Are they identical? Okay, one's facing one way, and I guess one's facing the other, or it's a different year, 1960. This one is 1951. Okay, so it's it's they're both George Washington, just different years. You know, same president, but just different stamps, different years. Uh, this is 4800. Again, same thing with Benjamin Franklin. Uh, this is also a rare 3800 uh, as well for six gens. And then we have George Washington again. Really, that he looks very very different there. Interesting. That is the ultra rare for 2800. And then uh, Abraham Lincoln, I do think is going to do very well because it's not the third version of George Washington or the second version of Benjamin Franklin. So I do think the fact that Abraham Lincoln has a standalone uh, rarity and he's the only one, there's not like duplicates or multiple versions of him, I think is kind of cool. This is um, 2800 and this is the ultra rare first edition, six gems. And this one's actually really exciting. So before it seems like VV has done stamp sheets and stuff like that, but now as the seeker, they, they're giving you a whole sheet, which actually has all six of the stamps on it, which I think is really good. Honestly, price predictions on these, and um, sorry, looking at the seeker, there's 1800, which is pretty low. Um, I haven't really cross-referenced this actively with the other stamps and stuff. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of stamps. Again, I'll, I'm definitely gonna be playing this drop, and full disclosure, I will be flipping these immediately. No hesitation. Not gonna hold these, even if I get the Seeker Rare, it's not like, I'm um, like, well, I could buy the rest and cl complete the set. Don't really c care to complete the set for the most part. I just, I would much, much rather have liquidity, prepare for San Diego Comic-Con, whatever else is gonna be happening, because it sounds like there's gonna be a lot of drops and a lot of exciting stuff happening then. So stamps are nice. I just see it as an opportunity to flip and get some liquidity, just because me personally, I'm not bullish on stamps, but that doesn't mean you don't have to be either, so. Again, the, the price predictions on these, I do think the lower mints across the board does help it quite a bit, like versus comics. Um, at the same time, we are getting towards the very bottom of a, of a bear market, and a lot of people are preparing for the end of the month San Diego, San Diego Comic Con. You know, these are pretty much the same price as comics, so people want to flip these. So it's it's really, really hard to do price predictions on, on stamps, in my opinion. You know, if, if I just had to throw random numbers out there and guess, I would assume the commons are going to be relatively close to box price, probably like seven gems. Uh, maybe the the uh, the uncommon, yeah, uncommon and rare might be close to like twelve, maybe like nine to ten ish. The ultra rare George Washington will probably be fifteen to twenty. Ultra rare Lincoln, I do think, will be a bit higher just because he's a standalone thing. He's he's a standalone uh, president and doesn't have like three different versions of George Washington. 30 to 40, I'm literally just pulling these number, <laughs> numbers out of thin air. And this and the Seeker Rare, I, I do think could probably push around 100. So 90 to 100, maybe 120. It's really hard to tell. Uh, I, it's, it's hard because the market is so different. The other stamps were, the only reason why the other stamps have a higher price is because people bought them at a higher price. And not everyone is willing to sell a stamp for, you know, 10 gems when they initially bought it for 67. It's just, it's just different, so. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And let me know if you guys played the uh, the Thor Milnir drop at all. Are you guys going to be playing the stamps? Are you guys preparing for San Diego Comic-Con? What is your guys' plan over the next few weeks to come uh, before the end of the month? So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys take care, and I'll catch you guys next time.